Good morning, everybody. Um, welcome, and thank you for making the time and coming to our workshop this morning. Uh, my name is Senzeni Ndebele. I'm the Senior Manager for Corporate Affairs for the regional airports. So in AXA, we have three international airports, which is Cape Town, King Shaga, and OR Tambo. And then we have six regional airports, which obviously assist with connectivity, um, which is George, Port Elizabeth International, East London, uh, Bram Fisher, which is in Bloemfontein, Uppington and Kimberley. Thank you for coming through this morning and allowing us to share with you what it is that we're doing for enterprise uh, supplier development. This has been a very topical issue and we've had some side discussions with a few groups in George who have had issues um, around this area. So please may I ask that we all put our cell phones on silent. Um, so for safety, there are three emergency exits. So there's two to my right and to my left and one at the back. So if we need to exit, I shall let you all know that it's time for us to all exit. The bathrooms are in the registration area straight ahead. So if you need to make use of the restroom, you may go there. We will take a short break where we're going to serve some light snacks. Please may I ask that we make the break 20 minutes so that we're able to finish on time because we still have to drive to Port Elizabeth and we want to make sure we do that before it gets dark and we also don't want you to spend the whole day here. ESD and supply chain management is a very emotional uh, topic for a lot of people and particularly for small businesses. May I ask that we have a very constructive interaction, that we take our emotions and put them aside. Let's do the business of the day and take care of that. Secondly, to make it easier for you in terms of communication, we are going to create a portal on our website, airports.co.za, where you can go and put in your questions, and somebody will monitor that website daily and ensure that they contact the relevant people in order to be able to get back to you, because it can become impossible for us as managers. Imagine we had close to 500 people in Cape Town, if every single one sends to Tuzeli an email, he probably would not be able to respond every day. But if we have a portal, it also assists the next person because when we have frequently asked questions, people can go and refer back to the questions that everybody else is looking at. So it makes it easier for us in terms of management. So if you go onto our website, we will create a portal, ESD. So if you go onto our website, airports.co.za, you'll be able to put in your questions there. So I'm not here alone today, so I'd like to introduce the first lady of AXA in George, uh, Bren, Ms. Brenda Foster, who is our airport manager. I think a lot of you know her. Thank you for being here, Brenda. I've got Ms. Ere Chikovi, who is the GM for transformation. So she's going to do a presentation around what, are, what is the group transformation strategy and policy for AXA. I have Mr. Mtutuze Limboniswa, who is, the general, who is the general manager for supply chain management. And I also have Mr. Rian Hamid, who is the senior financial controller. So for those of you who are already doing business with AXA, he will be able to explain to you what is it that we do in terms of payments, how do we handle your payments, and how do we do all that. So I'd like to ask upon Brenda Foster to just give us a little bit about George Airport, how long we've been here. So we have been around as AXA for 25 years. We celebrated our 25 years this year. So Brenda will give us a little bit about George Airport, where we're at, what are the passenger numbers looking like. And we've had phenomenal growth from the George Airport, which has actually really, really been excellent. And the airport has also won awards in terms of service excellence. So Brenda, please come forward. much I can tell you about George Airport. I think the entire city is very proud of us having our own airport. But let, let, let this, uh, just give you a bit of background. Maybe it's more just for our colleagues from Joburg as well. Um, George Airport actually opened in 1977. So it's, it's relatively old. It was P.W. Boerter Airport. And it was uh, actually built for the president at that time. 
And fortunately, we are now able to use the airport for all general public. And it's, it's one of the airports that is bursting. It's literally bursting. And our complaint that we have at the moment is there's not enough space. And I think that's the best problem to have. When it's booming like that and bursting, it means business is doing well. In um, 2003, the airport did about 200,000 passengers. By, I got into George at 2008 and we were operating at about 300 odd thousand passengers. 10 years later, we are doing over 800,000 passengers. And that airport can only manage, the capacity load is 800,000 passengers. So business as usual, the airport is ready to expand. So for, for the people that are so proud of George Airport, because it's the first point of entry to the garden route, we are going to be increasing the space. We are going to make sure that our passengers are comfortable and we're going to make sure that we keep the award in George. So without further ado, since any, thank you very much. I uh, just hope that everybody's going to enjoy themselves. Even if people are not here today, you still have an opportunity to spread that, that email address around and ask the questions so that you can also do business with Airports Company. Thank you. Sometimes I think that I don't need a mic because my voice is loud enough. <laughs> so I'd like to call upon my colleague, Ms. Ele Chikovi, who is the GM for Transformation. So Transformation is, is, is quite a wide uh, subject within AXA, but today our focus is going to be on transformation in the supply chain management area. Am I correct, Ele? Yes. So that is what it's going to focus on. So please listen attentively. We will have a question and session answer at the end, so we'll give you an hour, but if we're able to finish our presentations a little bit earlier, you'll have a little bit more than an hour. And if we can push for time, you'll actually be able to have one-on-one -on -one interactions with us. So it all depends on you, and it's always great to have that one-on-one -on -one as well. So we'll also try to afford you that opportunity. So I won't waste any time, and I'll ask my colleague, Eric. Is it better? How are you good people? Zanbona Molwe Kwe More. Good morning. Molwe and I did that. Namaste. I'm Shane. Uh, uh, it's like others are like, where is she going now? I think um, my role in AXA and part of the national agenda is diversity and inclusion. And hence I'm greeting everybody in their own language. Because we can all agree that we are all diverse, but we need to be inclusive, right? Thank you for that. My uh, presentation is very short. I think the order of the day is, I always say that it's my mchana. You know when you've got a nephew that you love so much because he does all the good things and he makes me shy. Because I don't do the work. He does the work. <laughs> he does the work. I'm just going to give you a little brief about the airports company. I think my colleague Brenda has given us the, just a brief summary of the George Airport. It's always good to learn every day. Brenda, I didn't know that initially that was the president's airport. Wow. It's indeed a transformation on its own. Who knew that 20 years ago we'll be all be allowed to use that airport? 
So clearly, it means there is some change that is happening, right? So, part of George has been part of a journey for the airport's company. Um, after 94, or before 94, yeah, before 94, we all know that it used to be called Jan Smart, the Johannesburg Airport, and whatever. And that journey has been rolling all along. And to date, we are proud to be working for one of the best airports company, I think across Africa. I stand to be corrected. But clearly, Brenda has spoken about awards. That shows that we really are striving to become a sought-after company in 2025. But in order for us to do that, we can't just be transforming without a compass. In order for you to be able to participate in this journey, you need to understand where we are going. So, AXA have got three areas. Who knew that AXA is, doesn't own any airlines? You know, each time you tell people that you're working for AXA, you say, can I get a ticket? Isn't it? People think that we manage airlines. We don't. But we run airports. We are there to make sure that they park on time and they depart on time. And when you are there, all the facilities that are available, they are well managed. That's what we do on a daily basis. To make sure that everything that we are doing is efficient, it's effective. How often do you run around and then you, while you are still in one queue, they say, no, 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 the boarding gate has changed. You need to rush. It's work. It's what we do on a day to day. It's because sometimes somebody packed late and now we had to give somebody space. That's part of the running. And also, is to make sure that we develop more airports. I think, as Brenda has indicated before, it's a private airport. Umtata is a private airport. Pulukwane, who knows beyond Johannesburg? At least, sometimes I go to places and they say, where is that? You know, they don't always Pulukwane. Pulukwane is the old Petersburg. <laughs> okay. So it's one of those that are not developed by us. They are state-owned, but they are military based. So one of the things that we do, we improve airports so that they reach the aviation standards. Because we are the only company in South Africa who's been given the mandate to ensure that all the state-owned Airports are up to scratch, according to aviation. The last one, because we want to become a sought after, it means we need to grow our footprint. I would love to see some of you here, when we are in this journey together, to be part of contracts that we journey together outside South Africa, where you'll be doing work. Because then when we grow our footprint, we need to bring our soldiers along. But that is dependent on yourselves, depending on the type of expertise and the skills that you have as entrepreneurs, as businessmen and women, that you say we are here and we can deliver on this. And when we say we've got contracts across the country, outside the borders, whether it's SADC, whether it's global, we are able to say we have our foot soldiers who are capable of doing this. And I think that's the essence why you are here this morning, right? Okay. Now, as AXA, we operate within the country and globally. We have got contracts in Brazil, in India, and in Ghana. We do have concessions. So, besides managing the airports, we have got expertise on technical services. The design of the airport, some of the technology that is used at the airports, so we have that internally. 
So hence I'm saying that when you start understanding what we do as an airport and the type of services that we require, then it allows you to be able to go back home and do your homework and research and get into those areas so that you're able to participate. What is our vision? Is to become a leading airport in 2025. Being a sought after. You know when you're sought after, it means you're on the earth degree, right? So that's what we wish to become. And we really pride ourselves with the values that we have done. We are very passionate in what we do. We want to do it with integrity. And we acknowledge the diversity that we work with. You are diverse. The passengers that pass our airports are, are diverse. Our employees themselves, our stakeholders are diverse. But while we are doing that, we want to ensure that we do everything with excellence in order for us to create results. So that when you are outside the borders of South Africa, when you enter into another airport, you should feel proud to say, you know what? I think my airport in South Africa is better. How many of you have gone to Africa and you see some of those airports that you are not so sure whether you have landed or whether you have just gone into a ditch, but it's an airport. And it allows you to learn to appreciate some of the excellent work that is done at our airports. Now, enough about the overview. 2015, based on our national agenda to ensure that we are going to be diverse and we're going to be inclusive and we are going to create more access to those who were not given an opportunity before. And we are going to increase the participation of those who were previously not given an opportunity. I don't talk about disadvantaged. Né? You heard me, right? I, I don't remember there's anyone who's been disadvantaged in this world. You are disadvantaged yourself. I always say that I didn't get to where I am because somebody did a favor. I went there because I deserved it. It means I had the capability. Okay. Now, our, we have got an agenda. Part of running and managing and developing our footprint, we believe that as part of addressing the imbalances of the past, we need to focus on our social, our moral, and our economic imperatives. But what does that mean? Socially, you sit here coming from impoverished communities. Surely, if it was the president's crossing, it means there were very chosen few people who were there. But over time, people came for work purposes, for leisure, you name it. But clearly, we can all agree, not everybody comes from the wilderness in this room, right? <laughs> so clearly, it means that we need somehow to assist people to move into the mainstream of the economy so that we can all grow and at least we can somehow at least be able to manage to own an apartment, not even the big house, but at least an apartment in the wilderness. Morally, it's important for us as an organization to ensure that those who live within the operations where we are doing our business, that we had lived their lives. We can never be seen to be taking people from Johannesburg to come and do basic work of an administrator from Johannesburg. Something is not right. Are we saying that people in George don't know how to read and write? Are we saying that these people, they don't even know how to type? Clearly, then there's a problem with our education system in George. But if that's the problem, then what are we doing about it to ensure that as and when our George Airport requires people of that skill, then they are there, they are ready. Does it make sense? Similarly with moral, we can never find ourselves having kids in those areas in which we operate where they are battling with their education and you and me standing here 
We all are gifted and we all have got expertise that we can always use. At what point do we give back? At what point do we give back? We're engineers in this room, construction people, accountant. What have you done in the last 10 years to uplift somebody's life whom you don't even know? Yet you want to sit here and talk about transformation and want to participate, but you're not starting within yourself. Economically, it's a fact that in the past, there were a chosen few who were participating. It's a reality that when the doors opened, everybody was jumping up and down. It was for the first time when I saw my teacher, my former class teacher, whom I knew she was very good in English, but she was in construction the following day. She had a tender. Now, I mean, really, guys, we know that we really want to make sure that as small businesses, we want you to, to grow and participate in the mainstream of the economy. But I think we are being dishonest with ourselves. You know you're not a peer engine, but you want to provide professional services. But you don't want to partner with others. So how are you going to grow if it's going to be me, 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 myself, and I? You come to AXA, and Brenda says, I have got some work. And then you come as an individual. Whereas had you came as a group, it would have given you leverage. I don't know if you hear what I'm saying. But then how do we action it? So socially, morally, and economically, I think we've agreed, right? But how do we sustain that that I've just said? We all know about our sustainability goals. Globally, we are saying water is an issue, environment is an issue, gender is an issue. I'm so glad that this room is very diverse. I'm pleased to see that there's more women power, but hey, our month has passed. Ne? Sorry. But now we are entering into the 16 days of activism, which I'm not so sure we still celebrate because we agreed that we ain't going to be violent. We are all going to try to live harmoniously together. But hey, men still have got visas, right? You still have got your visa at your home, right? Sir? You do? Say with the white shirt. Yes. You still have a visa at home, ne? They are cut off times of coming home and... You do? <laughs> Guys, it's a reality of life. Transformation is change. But change is when we embrace the things that were not there that are going to happen in order for us to improve our lives. Period. There's nothing else. Whether it's in business, whether it's in communities, whether it's our environment, that's the change we are talking about. But when that change happens, it's not just going to happen on its own. It's going to happen through us, in us, through others. At this juncture, we are saying as South Africa um, Airports Company, we want to invite you to be part of our journey. Because in this process, when we are growing our footprint, when we are developing our, our airports, when we are running our airports, we require your services. We require some of the products that you deliver on. But you need to know and understand what is it that we require from you. So that you don't keep on knocking and then the doors are not opening. And then you come back and say, ah, you know, Brenda and her team, those people are useless at the airport. But maybe it's because you don't understand the requirements, right? So it's important that today we have dedicated this next two hours where my colleagues are going to share with you the importance of understanding 
the process of our supply chain. Because enterprise and supply development happen within the supply chain value chain. It doesn't happen outside it. Because people think that they'll come and say, I want to be part of the enterprise development. You can't just come in. You need to be part of the procurement process. But you need to be there fair and square. Not because of your color. Not because you know so and so. Just because you know me doesn't mean that you are going to get work in AXA. You will have to follow through the same process. Because remember, when you go into Jiga Jiga, the next minute you're on TV, right? Now all of a sudden you are compromising yourself as an individual. Me, AXA, and everybody that has been part of that value chain. I think it's important. That's why one of our pride values is integrity. Ethics are important. Ethics are important. As a small business, if you are not ethical and you allow greed, you're not going to change. You're not going to achieve what you need to achieve. That much you need to understand. So what my two colleagues are going to come and share with you, please embrace it. Listen attentively, but don't cut corners. They don't take you anywhere. They become a D value. And I'll tell you why am I saying that. When Triple B started, it, it was seen as for the chosen few. Then it moved. I just want to talk about procurement space. What happened? People went up and down. People allowed themselves to be used. Because then it's my two colleagues and him and the lady. She's the cleaner, but they say she's a director. She, but she has no clue what they're talking about. So she allowed herself to be used because of greed, because she's thinking about the money. Can you see how easy it is? Now, over time, government has realized that this thing is just not working. And hence, they've introduced the new rules. The BE Commission is very clear. It's saying there is no more time for excuses in enterprise and supply development. They've clubbed it together because people were going and they were creating these big companies and smaller companies so that we can go and say we are 51 black. That's not important anymore. But what about the young ones that are coming, the emerging ones? I call you briefcase people. I get not everybody has got an office here. Or does everyone has an office? You don't, ne? You have a boot. Your boot office. Your boot office. You ask him, so can we meet at your office? He says, no, 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 we, we can meet here, my sister. And then he, he gives you a, a, you say, where's your business card? He says, I, can I write it down? Guys, we, we, we are not going to move and transform if we don't become professional in how we do things. That is why we are measured. And hence, we are also measured as an organization on how do we participate in your growth. It can never be enough for you to get an RFQ and then you respond and life goes on. If we say five days and then when you come on the ninth day, and then Rian says, no, sorry, we can't give you. Say, yeah, but I responded. When? When did you respond? You get an opportunity to enter into the development program. And then you think that life has arrived. And then you forget. Then you deviate from the requirements of the program. You get a tender. After I would have thrown tantrums in all the structures to say, no, 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 our people in George, you know, this work and that work must be provided. You get work. And what happens? Before the work starts, already you go to the nearest dealer shop. You know the dealer shop, ne? You know which dealer I'm talking about. Because people must see that you've arrived. But you haven't started working. But we are there already. We come to the site because it's my responsibility to check 
whether that subcontracting has happened. When I get there, I'm looking for Baba Gnub. He's nowhere to be found. They've never seen him. Employees don't even know you. But that's your company who's doing work. Something is not right. And this is the time where I will tell you that allow me to use race as an example because this is a safe space, right? Is it a safe space? Is it a safe space? Is it a safe space? Are you sure? I wanted to see whether you're transformed, but I can see that you, you're like, oh, no, you mustn't say it. Yeah, you must say it. <laughs> Guys, let me be honest with you. As black people, we still have got a long way to go. We still have got a long way to go. It's important that you know and understand your weaknesses and your capabilities. It's important. It's not by design, it's by default that our white counterparts had an opportunity to learn, to grow, the environment was right, the support was right, and, and, and. But post-94, when we arrived, we were too excited. We didn't learn the basics. We didn't learn the basics. Now, it's, it's, it's important for us to learn the basics, black sisters and brothers. So that when we are there and when we are fending for those roles, for those opportunities, you must never go there as a black person. You must go there as an entrepreneur who is deserving so. But you can only do that when you are professional in your conduct, in how you do things, in how you deliver. But if you're going to go there and say, yeah, hey, 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 Mina, I'm black, where does it fit? Guys, it's 25 years down the line. When are we going to end this? But on the same breath to my white counterparts, my brothers and sisters, embrace the other ones who are still coming. A child doesn't get born and start working. Form partnerships until the other one is okay enough to be able to do it on their own. Join forums. Do it together. Don't work against each other. The world is an oyster. The sun is, we all bask in the sun, provided we're going to work together. And that's the few words that I want to leave you with. And please, we are getting into the session why we are here. Your day. What you need to know and what AXA has in store for you. Thank you. Thank you.